Spoilers for season 15 of Red vs. Blue. If you haven't watched it yet, then go watch it. Or at least up to episode 13, because that's what this episode's about. Now, if you're caught up with the current season of Red vs. Blue, then you would know that Biff is dead. But before he died, he brought up the fact that he has a child on the way. Biff Jr., as he called him. This single statement caused many fans to speculate that Griff could possibly be Biff's kid. But why? Obviously, the biggest reason for this whole idea is that the whole season has been about counterparts. All the Reds and Blues have their respective counterparts. Biff is obviously Griff's, or vice versa. But since Biff's story took place in a time period that predates Griff's, Biff's statement about his kid made some people think that the two may be related. Another explanation some fans use to connect the two is Back to the Future. In Back to the Future, the main antagonist is Biff. In Back to the Future 2, when they travel into the future, Biff has since had a child which he named Griff. Hello? Anybody home? What do you think? Griff just called me Grandpa for his health? He's Griff? Now obviously the whole Biff and Griff names come from Back to the Future. But since it's not Back to the Future, you want to know whether or not Griff could really be Biff's child. No. Here's the reason. There are a few events that took place in time that you have to understand. When did Carolina meet the Blues and Reds? Are we capable of placing an accurate point in time relative to when everything is happening to have a legitimate answer? And how old are the Reds and Blues relative to the Blues and Reds? You see, a while ago Rooster Teeth released the Red vs. Blue Ultimate Fan Guide. There's tons of stuff in it for fans. One of the things that is in it is a timeline. A definitive timeline. It is literally called the Definitive Red vs. Blue Timeline. The first event that was given in that timeline was Carolina's birth. She was born 29 years before Blood Gulch ever happened. But what we need to know is when did she meet the Blues and Reds? Well, in episode 13 of season 15, it gives us a time point from which to place the events. It took place shortly after the heist on the sarcophagus, and luckily for us, the fan guide tells us when that heist took place. It says it happened about four years prior to Blood Gulch, meaning the events with the Blues and Reds would also have taken place about four years before Blood Gulch ever happened. And when you listen to the way that Biff talks about his kid, it makes it sound like he hasn't been born yet. Well, she's expecting, man. Expecting <laughs> what? Biff Jr. And because it only takes place four years before Blood Gulch, if you're lucky, Biff's kid would be about four years old by the time Blood Gulch started. So unless Griff is very mature for his age, he's not a four-year-old. And in current times, events are about nine to ten years after everything has happened. So Biff Jr. would be about ten in current day. The only way that would be capable of changing would be if Biff wasn't aware that his child had already been born. Since Biff is in the UNSC, perhaps Georgina was incapable of giving the information that Biff Jr. had already been born, leaving Biff to think that his wife was still expecting. That is a hard connection to make, but it can be made, adding a few more years to Biff Jr.'s life. But it's still not enough to add up to Griff's age. The only other way I feel as though a connection can be made is if you just threw the timeline out the window and retconned it, now placing the events even further back. But while it may give more believability to Biff's kid, it then throws other ages out the window. Carolina and the rest of the freelancers would have been teenagers and young adults doing these things, and in current day would be in about their 40s to 50s maybe. Griff being Biff's child is a simple idea to have in the moment, but when you really look at a few details and do some simple math, the ages just don't add up to make any logical sense. So with that said, that is going to do it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to like it, comment down below as to whether or not you think I missed anything, subscribe if you're interested in more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video.